Hey guys, how you doing? So this real quick in this particular video, we're going to be going over sky slope forms. Okay. My last video, I showed you guys how to use sky slope and how to put a transaction in. This time we're going to go over how you use sky slope forms and how that works. All right. So it's first thing that's explained is sky slope forms is basically just like dot loop and DocuSign. All right. It is really easy to use. Really simple. Um, I mean, you need to know how to use this, even if you like anything else. If you like dot loop, I like dot loop a lot, guys. If you like DocuSign, fine. If you like um, sky slope forms, fine. You need to have a backup plan in case stuff goes bad. I had an issue where dot loop wasn't working one day, and so I jumped over here and I did it this way. So you still need to be able to get your docs out regardless. Let's jump into it right away. Let's go. Okay, so I'm here in Sky Slope at this point in time. So let's do this number real quick. I am going to go over to where it says apps on the grid over here. And we're going to click on forms. Right? When we go into forms, this is something new they've rolled out. And it's really cool. So we're going to create a new file first. Right? And the file I'm going to create, this is, I'm representing the buyer. Um, and we're going to add our client's information in here real quick. I'm just going to put it in real quick and I'll cut back to it because y'all need to know who I'm, because I'm actually doing a real deal here so let's do that once you have your uh, client's information in just scroll on down and now put in the property address okay do which one line here has it pulls it in all right and this is where you would ask okay I want to pull in a template if you've done so I haven't created a template just yet I'm going to show you guys how to do that later all right now I'm here is really important because I've, I've skipped a very important step that I can't go back and do at this point in time. And that important step was me connecting to my associations. Okay, now how do you do that? You need to go back in the day when you first became a real estate agent and get your NARS ID, your National Association of Realtors ID, and you need to put that in and plug that in and get so it can pull in your association. When you do that, it's going to pull in the proper associations. It's going to pull in... Uh, NARS forms and it also will pull in your local form you're part of like for me it's Texas Association of Realtors and then also my uh, MLS board so that way I'm getting the right docs that I'm looking for all right so let's jump on this for you guys real quick all right so for this particular one I need to get a couple of docs I need my wire form wire fraud form from buyers we're gonna add that in okay uh, real quick, I'm just going to go to next. We're going to show you how to do that one real quick. So we have that one, and we need to add a another doc in here, and that is going to be my ABA doc from EXP. I'm going to drag it over real quick. So we're going to drag this in here, let it upload. All right, boom, it is done. Okay. Now, we got the forms that we need in here. Now we're going to go in and we're going to work the forms. Alrighty. So, really, there's nothing to put in here but a signature. That's all I need. Uh, well, I got to put the XP information in here. E. Realty. We don't need any of that. Honestly. Put the broken number in there and we're going to save it. Ah. Alrighty. Now, we need to now add in the signatures. Okay, so we're going to prep for signatures here. And I need to sign as well. Put my email in here. I never did that. Hold up. Try it again. All right, I need to sign as well. We're going to prep this for signatures. All right. Okay, now once we got to prep for signatures, we just got to add them in here. So mine would go right here, theirs is going to be right here, and it is already prepped them and got it exactly what I need. All right, so at this point, um, I'm just going to send it on over.
Now, you'll get notified an email once they actually sign the document. It'll come right back here. Then you'll be able to download it and then upload it into your SkySlope. So it's over there to them. They'll sign, and then that's what we'll do next. It's actually really easy to use. Now, I'm going to go back and do one more for you so I can show you how I do um, one that I have to upload up into the form so you guys can see that one. Okay, so I'm here in the affiliated business um, arrangements disclosure statement that we have here and I need to add a little bit more onto it here so we're gonna prep this one for signature as well um, they need to sign they need to sign I need to sign and we're going to go to next it's gonna pull it up here but I need to make some changes into it so I can show you guys how we're going to edit this a little bit like okie dokie so I need a text field right here so I can put the address all right and the text is going to be the address here All right, boom, that's that. I also need to put the date right here. All right, the way this works here in SkySlope, when I put the date in here right here, it's assigned to me. You gotta make sure you can understand who it's assigned to. So the person who's gonna be signing this is assigned to them and they're gonna put the actual date in here when they sign it. And then at the bottom here, we're gonna add in two places for them to sign here. We're gonna add in a signature here oh, oh we're gonna make that one for him and one more here for that individual all right and that's that's it so I'm gonna send this over as well and then we're gonna go from there so once again once they get everything they'll sign it and it come back over. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and sign here on my phone so we can see what that actually looks like. All right, to give you an idea of what it looks like, I'm going to show you here what it looks like when you get into it. All right, so the emails will come, come over this way here, and we're going to get started. Click on Get Started. This is what your clients will actually see, right? If I had some more in email, I would have said that, but I didn't. So I'm going to agree to accept the e-signatures, and I am going to put my signature in like so. This one is just fine, and we're going to use that signature. All right, I'm going to click on Finish Signing, and that's it, okay? That's pretty much all that you have to do, right? Now, I could download the sign document, view the sign docs if I want to after that, but that's it. It's really easy. This is just like dot loop. It's just like zip forms. At the end of the day, if you need an alternative, it's here. And if you're part of EXP, it's 100% free 99, so you don't have to go buy something else you can do all your entire transaction in dot loop if you want to all right so it's a really good tool i advise you to get in here play with it learn it because you need to be writing contracts soon if you're on some other platform it's really good to know another platform so you can actually get your contracts done all right make sure you guys like share and subscribe if you have any questions let me know peace